Hi, my name is Chris Mullen, and this is a demonstration video for the Canopus Glare Shielding Evaluation Kit that we've sent to you. The kit includes a pair of mock-ups of what we think the next generation prototype could look like that's based on ga Oakley gas can frames. The electronics would sit in a small patch over the nose, but they would not interrupt the outline of the sunglasses, and the battery would be located on the temple. The kit also includes a glare source, which is across the table from me here, and, and a box with some electronics in it. The electronics include a circuit board that is, would be a fully functional circuit board. This is actually what is included in the gas can prototype mock-up. Um, once populated, this can do all the glare sensing and decision making and LCD driving that is necessary for our sunglasses. It includes a prototype plastic LCD lens um, that is made on plastic substrates, which means it's slightly flexible, would be flexible enough to be fit into sunglasses, and being made by a partner of ours in Japan. These lenses are currently being produced um, for an electronic sunglasses application, but those sunglasses are single pixel, in other words, the entire lens darkens instead of being pixelated where only a portion of the lens darkens, as in our product. Finally, the kit includes our sunglasses. Sunglasses are based on flat glass LCD technology. These prototypes contain all their electronics in a small bump over the nose. The controls are quite simple. There's a power switch here, which is up when they are turned on and down when it's turned off. And there's a button at the top of the frames. After turning on, they start in mode zero. In mode zero, they are, will react to outside sunlight, but not to an inside glare source like the glare source that I include with the evaluation kit. When you press the button, a number will appear in the upper left corner of the left lens, and it will tell you what mode they are in. I press it once to get to mode one, twice to get to mode 2, and a third time to get to mode 3. There are modes 0 through 3. Mode 3 is reactive to a glare source that is inside, while modes 0 through 2 react to outside sunlight glare, but use different size spots. You can now see that the spot on the lens reacts as I turn the frames relative to the glare source. When you put on these sunglasses, you need to be somewhat careful of their construction. The front of the frames is made with rapid prototyping plastic, so it's somewhat fragile. The temples, however, are flexible and commercially made. So, when you put them on, please take care to flex the temples rather than the front of the frames of the glasses. They can be worn over, over on top of glasses, as long as the calibration that I demonstrate is done after uh, with the glasses in place. Calibrating the glasses is best done inside using our artificial glare source. Put the glasses into mode 3 and check that only one glare source is seen by the glasses by checking that only a single spot appears on the lenses as you move them back and forth. Hold the button down for about one second and let go. One one thousand, boom. If you get into calibration mode, a single 2x2 two two spot appears on the left side of the left lens and does not react or move as the glasses turn. Put on the glasses, make sure that they feel comfortable on your head, and then turn your head and tilt your head until that dark spot is lined up with the glare source. Once it's lined up, press this button, the glasses think for about one second, and then the, gla the dot moves to the right side of the left lens. Again, turn your head until the glare source is lined up with that black spot. Click the lens, and now the spot moves to the second side. Repeat the process with your right eye. Click once, move, click again, and now the glasses have been calibrated to the positions of your eyes. If during calibration the camera cannot see any glare source, 
or if it sees two glarus horses, then it does not know where to calibrate, so it does not try. It indicates the problem to the user by blinking a 2x2 two two spot in the middle of both lenses for 3 seconds, and then reverting to the previous operating mode. I will demonstrate the behavior by purpose purposefully turning glasses away from the glare source and hitting the calibrate button. I hit it. It cannot see things, so it blinks a spot, and then it goes back to normal operation. This problem could occur, for example, if you are calibrating with an artificial glare source, but you are in an office that has an outside window. The window's light might be seen as a second glare source and could confuse the glasses. If you press the button for too long when going into calibration mode, it goes into a programming mode. This is indicated by the number 9 showing up in the upper left corner and the display freezing. When you, if this happens, you need to just simply power cycle the glasses so that they uh, can come back up in their normal mode. When you are finished using the glasses, turn them off by pushing the slide switch down. The glasses store the calibration information in non-volatile memory, so there's no need to recalibrate them when they're turned back on again. When the glasses are first turned on, turning on the switch, they react to sun with a small block of 2x2 two two pixels for each pixel illuminated by the sun's rays. Hitting the mode once goes into mode 1, and now a 3x3 three three block of pixels is illuminated. Hitting the button a second time goes to mode 2, indicated by the 2 in the upper right. Now a 4x4 four four block is darkened. One more time goes into mode 3, where it uses indoor demonstration settings, and outdoors everything appears to be glare, so the entire glasses go dark. Hitting it one more time, goes back to mode zero, and now it goes back to the original turn-on mode where a 2x2 two two block is darkened. Turning it off makes the spots go away. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please give me a call.